Toronto, Canada's Camelot, some would say, with its fairy tale kingdom quality, selling fun, cleanliness, security, boasting glamour, entertainment, sophistication, sophistication, sophist sophist sophistic sophistication. Guys will pay me to poo on their chest. So we're here in Toronto. This is Storm Man, one more time, did I get shot? Look, he's like, yes. So I'm like, call the ambulance, fam. I knew nothing of Toronto, other than the fact that it was kind of fucked up. Toronto's kind of fucked up. Come collect your man, bitch gang gang, bitch gang gang. How do you think that like Toronto's different from the rest of the country? Toronto's just like that city. Like Toronto's just like the scene in Toronto. The city's like, it's always on fire. You know, but Toronto is filled with a whole bunch of sick people, you know? Sick people like all of us, you know? There are jobs, money, and people. Tens of thousands of Canadians and immigrants have been attracted to the city in recent years because it's prosperous and easy to live in. Almost four million people live in what's called the Greater Metro Region, jamming the roadways and highways. Expensive city housing drives people further out to distant communities, but daily they return to the city to work, choking the system, questioning this good life. Certainly the good life here has become very expensive. Housing prices are the best example. They've gone up 60% in the last two years. Not only does Toronto have the hottest real estate market in the country, there are days when it's the hottest market in the world. One way to get the money to buy a house is to start by selling somebody else's. The hottest course in town these days is real estate. Right now you can take a five-week licensing program to pretty well dictate the careers and investment and holdings of people. Toronto has the largest real estate board in the world, the entire world. 20,000 people licensed to sell property. I honestly see the current state of affairs, although it's a crisis situation, as normality. The crisis has become normal to us in real estate. Toronto is also capital of Canada's homeless. A good estimate says 50,000 people try to survive here without an adequate or often permanent roof over their head. People who are homeless in Toronto are currently up against overcrowded shelters and services, struggling to help everyone. Close to 10,000 people uh, are being given shelter through the city's shelter programs and uh, in partnership with the Red Cross. City officials saying close to 50% of the people using shelters on a nightly basis are refugee claimants. This has been a growing trend in Toronto in recent months. For many in Toronto who have homes and jobs, this is the problem that's bothering them. Developers with a seemingly insatiable appetite, given free reign by the city to chew up every inch of vacant land and spit out skyscrapers, which bring thousands more new workers downtown. Cowie has seen boom and bust before, but while economists worry about a recession, he's still riding the wave. I worked in Calgary for a couple of years, and this city very much reminds me of Calgary during that boom because there was just no property, no space. Prices were going sky high. And it can always correct. It's just a question of when. I went to jail for pepper spraying someone. Why'd you pepper spray him? Um, because she was trying to fight me, and I don't fight, because that's ratchet, and I'm like a grown woman, so. Would you let someone poo on you? No. Why not? Because that's gross.